Across the United States, more than 11 million people are immigrants living here without legal documentation. And about one in five of those undocumented immigrants is living in California. We have an outsized responsibility as California to really take a role of leadership on this issue. Democratic State Attorney General Kamala Harris supports what she calls comprehensive immigration reform that would allow undocumented immigrants without criminal records to apply for legal status. And we need to create a path for them to obtain citizenship. They can't jump in front of the line. They need to get in the back of the line. The line to which Harris is referring is the line of people who have applied for green cards from abroad. According to the U.S. State Department, that line is already 4 million people long, with some waiting up to 20 years. We need to, to do what is really the right thing to do. I have a plan to provide for a pathway to legal status. Former Republican Party Chair Duff Sundheim says his plan also involves sending undocumented immigrants to the end of the line. I don't believe that we should provide a pathway to citizenship when there are so many people around the world Philippines, Taiwan, that are waiting and have been waiting 10, 15 years to come to this country. Sundheim says for undocumented immigrants, the first step would be admitting that they broke the law by entering the U.S. or overextending their stay. So you go before a judge, say that you committed a crime, then for 10 years you're crime free, you try to get a job, and at the end of that 10 year period, you have legal status. In general, I would be supportive of that, but under certain circumstances. Republican software executive Ron Unn says he would also support giving undocumented immigrants a legal way to stay in the U.S. Especially if they've lived here for 5, 10, 15 years, I mean, they're really part of the American society, and I think it makes perfect sense for them to eventually be legalized. Unz also supports raising the minimum wage as a way to encourage Americans to take the jobs currently held by undocumented immigrants. And he would encourage more immigrants to leave the country by giving them a cash payout. Maybe 5000 one time, 10000 one time. I mean, that benefits the state. It solves, helps to reduce the illegal immigration problem. And also it means that people who you know, otherwise would suffer here in poverty can go home with you know, a nest egg. A pathway to citizenship is code for a pathway to gridlock. Tom Del Bacaro, another former Republican Party chair, says it's a waste of time trying to pass comprehensive immigration reform. This is too divisive of a topic, and it's not going to happen for years. Instead, Del Bacaro would focus on making it harder for foreigners to get U.S. visas. You know who use uh, the visa system or overstaying visas? The 9-11 conspirators. You know who lied on her application to come to the United States and just made up an address? The San Bernardino terrorist. Del Bacaro says he would also tighten security at both borders and at ports. He says that's the only part of immigration on which Americans can currently agree. You don't start on the hardest subject. You immediately start on what you can accomplish today. For Commitment 2016, I'm David Beanick, KCRA 3 News.